Hi, how are you going? Uh, I need to speak to your supervisor. Is there something I can help you with? I, uh, no, you're the one that served me in the first place. Excuse me? Uh, I think it's best that I speak to your supervisor. One moment. This girl wants to speak to you. Yeah, I'll deal with it. Hello. I own the shop. What can I do for you? Uh, the last time that I used my card was in this shop and now my account has been cleared out. Definitely not. We're a very honest and respectable business. <laughs> All my savings are gone. Can you please keep your voice down? This must be a mistake. See for yourself. Do you know anything about this? Me? No, of course not. Why yeah. would I? <laughs> but you're the one that served me in the first place. Look, I'm just going to have to call the police and you'll just have to explain it to them. This is a no-win situation for everyone involved. The employee, the customer and the business owner. Criminals have some highly sophisticated ways of capturing confidential information from cards to steal money. It's a type of skimming, high-tech fraud that can have a devastating impact on your business. It's therefore essential you know how to prevent and detect skimming in order to ensure transactions stay safe and secure. Ignoring the threat of skimming may result in a loss of customers and loss of money. The reputation and credibility of your business in the marketplace can also be damaged beyond repair. This method of payment is essential to the success of your business and is safe and reliable, but don't fall into the trap of thinking your workplace isn't vulnerable to skimming. Without the right safeguards, any business, big or small, that uses terminals is potentially at risk. We're asking you to be alert to the threat of skimming and to take some simple preventative measures to help eliminate the risk. There are several methods of skimming that may have been used in this scam. Let's take a look at some of them. Hi. Hi. I would like to pay. Uh, card, thanks. Card? Yeah. The so-called traditional skimming method is where a customer's card is swiped through a standard terminal. Hey! And is then also swiped illegally through a portable skimmer, typically when the customer is distracted. So exhausted. Yeah, tell them about it. Whilst this form of skimming still exists, criminals have come up with some other methods. A lot of skimming is done by organised crime groups using very sophisticated equipment. A standard terminal does not capture and store a customer's confidential card information, but with advanced technical know-how, they can be illegally modified to do just that. The modified terminal may also be able to capture a PIN number as it is keyed in by the customer. Thanks. A pinhole camera, like this one, hidden in close proximity to the terminal, is another method to watch out for. These pinhole cameras can be hidden in objects or boxes near the terminal, such as in product displays or leaflet dispensers. In some cases, the pinhole camera is mounted in a false ceiling above the terminal. Standard security cameras have also been used to record the pin number. Putting a terminal keypad in clear view of a security camera should therefore be avoided. So how do criminals get these modified terminals into your business? There are three typical methods. Hey there. Hi. Been sent to service your terminal? Yeah, go for it. It's just there. Number one. Criminals enter your business pretending to be a service technician to access your terminal. All right. Well done. Thank you. See ya. More common is method number two. That's when criminals swap your standard terminal with their modified terminal. What you are seeing is a real swap caught on security camera. The third method is when criminals take away your standard terminal, modify it, then put it back where they found it, ready for skimming. Criminals typically swap or take away a terminal for modification by creating a distraction. I'll get that. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's okay. Have 
to die. That should do the trick. All good? Okay. All by making their move when the terminal is left unattended. Oh, Jim. Oh, yeah. Hey, mate. What's going on? Yeah, good. Oh, I've been playing. I'm still working here. I've been working here for about four years now. The stolen card data is used in various ways to get money from cardholder accounts. One way is to make fake cards and transfer the data onto them. The fake card, or multiple fake cards, are then used to get cash from an ATM machine. Terminal modifications can be extremely hard to detect, so the presence of a modified terminal in your business could go unnoticed indefinitely. That is, unless you do some simple things to reduce the risk. Number one, at the start of every shift, please check the terminal and surrounding area for signs of skimming. And number two, take action immediately if you notice anything suspicious. At the start of every shift, please check that your terminal, one, looks the same as before and has no damage. Two, has the same type and number of cables. Three, has the correct serial number. Four, prints receipts with the right business name and address. And five, is clear of any item or hole in the ceiling or walls where a pinhole camera may be hidden. Hey Perry, something's not right here. If you answer no to any of these, tell your supervisor immediately. And if you are the supervisor or person in charge, check for yourself to validate the concern. Disconnect and remove the terminal, store the terminal somewhere safe, and contact your service provider. Taking action involves being constantly aware of your terminal and the surrounding area. I'll get that. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, that's okay. Uh, that's all right. If you see a crime in progress, it's imperative that you do not approach the offender. Instead, be as observant as possible without putting yourself in danger, then contact the police immediately. Where possible, do not leave terminals unattended. Hey Perry, something's not right here. Remember, if you notice anything suspicious during your daily checks, please tell your supervisor immediately. Sometimes leaving a terminal unattended simply can't be avoided, like when you need to serve a customer, fetch new stock or take a break. So if you have to leave the immediate area, make sure the terminal is not within reach of customers and put it out of sight if possible. Protect your terminals as vigilantly as you would protect cash. You'd never leave an unattended cash drawer wide open. Remember, it only takes a few moments for a terminal to be removed or swapped. And if you suddenly find your terminal is missing, please tell your supervisor immediately. Finally, taking action involves handling site visits the right way. If a person visits your premises to check or do anything to a terminal or security camera, please refer them to your supervisor immediately. Hi, been sent to service your terminal. Visits from your service provider or the company acting on their behalf should always be arranged before the visit takes place. Oh, I have been told to expect you. I better get my supervisor, I won't be a moment. Be particularly cautious of service visits that are unannounced and have not been arranged in advance. And if you are the supervisor, please ask the visitor for ID. Can I please see your ID? Sure. If the visit hasn't been arranged in advance, or the name doesn't match the name you were given, please contact your service provider immediately and give them the details. Please, one moment. Matthew... Follow Johnson. any instructions they provide. John... No, it's Perry, all right. he's leaving. Okay. He's left. Call the police. Skimming is a risk to any business that uses terminals. Definitely not. We're a very honest and respectable business. <laughs> All my savings are gone. Ignore that risk and you could lose customers, income and business reputation. There are some simple things you can do to reduce the risk. Remember, at the start of every shift, please check the terminal and surrounding areas for signs of skimming. And take action immediately if you notice anything suspicious. 
Please speak to your supervisor if you have any questions regarding the information we have covered here. Uh, obviously involves the A second video containing additional information on what you can do in your business to prevent and detect skimming is also available, so check it out. There are also posters, brochures and stickers available that summarise the key points. And contact your service provider if you would like more of these or if your business has any more questions about skimming. Point of sale card skimming is one of the many types of fraud that organised criminals use to make profit and further other criminal activity. I urge you to take stock of this presentation and follow the steps to protect your businesses. Together with your efforts, we can make it harder for criminals to find a foothold. Thank you.